the RV was half full and I just paid $113 worth of gas. 25 gallons. And the the tank was half full according to the to the dash. So that's a lot of gallons. Hey everybody, so today I'm gonna to be mixing a little bit of car and tech. I am in my RV, which I, I bought uh, in 2020, and I got it you know, good enough that I can go on some road trips. And today I'm gonna to be going on a road trip up north to Oregon. Uh, uh, it's a six hour drive, uh, one way. I'm planning to pick up uh, about 11 or 12 um, vintage computers that I found uh, a guy selling up there and uh, I'm gonna document uh, my trip there. So I'm right here in Northern California right now, actually in near San Francisco. I'm gonna go uh, north to towards Oregon right now and, uh, and uh, take you along. So um, hopefully I won't break down. I don't wanna make that part of this video, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I just put $113 worth of gas. Uh, my, it's super full now, uh, 25 gallons. I think this is like a 50 gallon tank, so um, you know, hopefully this these computers won't cost me more than than I thought they would just because I'm taking this monster thing up there. But I want to make the best of it. I'm gonna be staying overnight. That's the plan anyway. Uh, at a RV place for the first time with this one. So um, let's get started. Okay, just stopped at a Goodwill, and uh, this is in Fairfield, so I'm I'm just uh, doing some shopping along the way. Got some nice cool stuff. I hope it works. I'll show you in a second. All right, so this is my my pickup from this Goodwill in Fairfield. I got a a screen with a built-in DVD player. They didn't have a power cord, so I gotta have to stop somewhere else and get the power cord, and hopefully that'll work. I got a movie. For if this works, then tonight I'm gonna be watching The Last Samurai. And I got some software. I got Front Page 2000, Seventh Guest, some casino uh, games for like old computers, and uh, pinball, and that's it. So I'm gonna keep on going and see what we find next. So here I am back home after a few days and uh, Shabby made it. Uh, we did not stay in an RV camp but uh, I did end up staying in a hotel and I'm going to show you inside the, uh, the, the, the RV here and as you can see I have computers everywhere. I have computers that are scattered everywhere. Some of them did fall during transit. But they, I don't think they were too, they were damaged. They were just, uh, you know, slightly that uh, scratched maybe. Who knows? But they look pretty good. 
I have computers even in the bed over there and up there I got a big CRT right here and uh, yeah I have to make my way through this I have these five little Max down there that I have to take out. I have a Star Rider, and even underneath the uh, the bed on the outside storage, I have uh, a an old uh, dot matrix printer. But uh, uh, yeah, I even got myself a little leading edge little computer here. This one's kind of interesting. See if I can open this. Yeah, look at that. Ah, it's kind of beat up a little bit there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can get this running correctly. And uh, yeah, you know, if you like this kind of stuff, I'm going to be going through each one of these in detail. There's more down here, another CRT there. I'm going to be going through each one of these in detail in a future video and uh, and we'll see what I got you know they, they all seem to have components and everything inside so uh, there might be some uh, some cool stuff in these machines so if you like this kind of stuff subscribe hit the like button and leave me a comment below uh, let me know what you think and what I should start with um, some of the older ones are down there, like 286s, maybe even 8088. Um, I got some newer machines. I got these these nice cases here with those. I really want one of these. I wanted one of these when I was growing up. Uh, I had a desktop 386. But, you know, probably going to start with one of those. Or take a look at those old beasts. And... Uh, power up one of these CRTs, take a look at those. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Till next time.